Hello everyone, this is Shuram from LearnerCon with another video from the Fundamentals of Industrial Automation series. If you haven't seen my previous videos in this category, I recommend you to watch them. Here is the link to the playlist. And to support this channel, I appreciate if you like, share and subscribe. Okay, today in this video we are diving into Distributed Control System or DCS. We look at the key components, architecture, benefits, some real-world examples, and also the market leaders. Let's get started. A distributed control system, or DCS, is a computerized control system for process control with autonomous controllers distributed throughout the plant, but supervised using operator stations in a central control room. DCS is designed to manage complex processes efficiently. This distribution of control functions enhances reliability and fault tolerance. A DCS is made of several key components. Controllers are distributed throughout the plant to manage specific processes. They might be single or redundant to increase availability. Servers are centralized units that manage data and exchange information with controllers and clients. HMI clients provide a graphical interface for operators to monitor and control the system. A communication network connects all these components, allowing for seamless data exchange. Usually, there are multiple layers between servers and clients, between controllers and servers, and between controllers and field devices. And last but not least, smart field devices, like smart sensors and actuators, interact directly with physical process while communicating with DCS controllers. A unique highlight of DCS is its client-server architecture. Centralized servers manage data and communication with controllers distributed across the plant while clients, such as operator stations, access the server for monitoring, control, and generating reports. This structure improves data management, centralizes control, and makes maintenance easier. DCS software is the main element of this system. It comes with built-in libraries for control components, such as motors, valves, and PIDs. Instead of developing code, we simply configure these components. The software then automatically generates the associated HMI objects and faceplates. This standardization ensures consistency and efficiency across the system. So, how does a DCS work? It starts with data acquisitions from regular and smart field devices, collecting information from controllers and storing them on the server. Controllers then process this data together with the received operation commands and execute control strategies such as PID loops to manage the process. Client HMIs display real-time data and system status for the operators. Then operators may adjust set points and start and stop control sequences. The system also manages alarm to alert operators for any issues and logs data for historical analysis and reporting on the dedicated server. Why use a DCS? It's highly scalable, making it easy to expand as your processes grow. It offers high reliability with redundancy features to ensure continuous operation. DCS systems are flexible and can be customized for different applications. They improve process control and efficiency and provides centralized monitoring for a unified view of the entire process. DCS systems are used in a variety of industries. In power generation, they control power plants and distribution networks. In the oil and gas sector, they manage refineries and petrochemical plants. And in the cement industry, they oversee the production and quality control of cement, ensuring efficient and consistent output. Now, let's talk about some of the leading DCS vendors. Emerson Delta V is renowned for its reliability and performance. Siemens offers Semantic PCS7, known for its robustness and versatility. 
and Yokogawa's Sento VP is known for its precision and efficiency. Okay, that was a quick overview of Distributed Control Systems or DCS. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.